Hey everyone, Dr. B here with Hearing and Balance Doctors. Have you ever wondered what the proper way to clean your hearing aids is? You get that question all the time. Uh, there's a certain way that you should be doing it, okay? If you want your hearing aids to function well over time, then you have to make sure you're doing regular maintenance of the hearing aids. It's like <clears throat> regular maintenance on your car. Isn't it important to do regular oil changes so it's running smoothly? Hearing aids, cleaning, deep cleaning, regular cleaning, that's the same thing. So let's go over how to do it. Uh, right now I have the Phonak Infineo Sphere device in front of me. Um, this is one I wear often. It's an awesome hearing aid. I love it. So um, when you're cleaning the hearing aid, there's two main parts that you want to focus on. The microphones. See these like four holes here? Those are the microphone ports. Uh, and then the receiver right here. It's, it's the speaker of the hearing aid. Um, so how do you clean this stuff? The best time to do it, in my opinion, is in the morning right before you put them in your ear. Okay, So you should be provided with a brush. This is like a little toothbrush or a li little Barbie doll accessory. So this you can use to clean the hearing aid. If you have an extra toothbrush, I actually like that better. Just don't forget what toothbrush you're using on your teeth because that would be nasty. So um, the first thing you should do is, this is what I do. I kind of just like brush, I brush these bristles in the morning before I even touch the hearing aid to get off any other stuff that was left on. And then I get the microphone ports first, okay? So you can just go across just like this. just across and then I just go like this at the end really quick uh, after that then you want to brush the dome wax can get clogged up in this dome if you have if you're lucky enough to have the thin runny soupy goopy wax then that's more likely to plug this filter up in this dome so first step let's clean the dome so again in the morning why are we doing this in the morning because any wax left over from the previous day is dry by that point. So now it's just flaking right off. Perfect. Okay, dome is clean. Let's just check underneath the dome. Got to be careful. If you are lucky to have that runny, goopy, soupy wax, soft wax, it can seep down underneath the rubber dome and it could end up clogging up this filter. If it gets clogged up, you got to change it. You can try to clean it, but it's not gonna really work that well. Let's just change it. So you have these extra filters here. Look, there's a bunch of them. We're gonna take one out. Little matchstick. Look, there's a there's a black side and a white side. Let's use the black side to take out the dirty filter. So you gotta push it right in. Okay. And then you just pull it out, dirty filter came right out. Switch it around to the clean side, clean filter. Push it in, take it out. We just replaced this filter and we've got a clean filter there. Awesome, this goes in the trash because it's got the dirty filter. So let's chuck that in the trash. Let's put our clean dome back on. Now we've got a super clean hearing aid. This is gonna work well. Uh, so the brushing, try to do it every day before you put it in your ear. It takes 10 seconds to brush the microphones. It takes about 10 seconds to brush the dome. Most people don't have to change, you know that little white filter in there? Most people don't have to change that very often, okay? I've seen people go more than a year without even changing this dome. It really just depends on the consistency of your wax. Runny, goopy, soft wax. That is more likely to gunk this filter up. You'll know it's plugged because maybe one day you put the hearing aid on and it sounds like the hearing aid's not even working. And you're like, what the heck? I charged it, right? It's charged. I know it's charged. It's connected to my phone. I see it. It's not working, there's no sound coming out. Well, 
check the filter. Take that dome right off. Oh, there might be some wax in there. Replace it if you need to with one of these um, replacement filters as needed. So yeah, on average, I'd say probably, if I had to choose like a mean average, I'd say once a month, people have to change these. Maybe once every two months. So that's how you clean a hearing aid, microphones, and then receiver. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. We'll see you next time. Okay, everybody, we so appreciate you watching the video today. If you've liked what you've seen, please like it, subscribe to our channel. It means the world to us, but it also means the world to other people who are trying to figure out what's going on with their hearing health. So thank you for watching.